Hello everybody, welcome to Papal Podcast episode 30. So today we got some huge, huge news. We got the first actual trailer of the all-new course from Penga Japan called Mystic Ruins. And this new course will be coming out next week, which is the 7th of the 21st, 2016. Um, and it's going to have a lot of new features and it looks incredibly cool. I actually did a reaction video which will be in the description below. Um, thank you Hachi for recording that, that was so fun. Uh, but yeah, this new course looks really interesting. It's kind of like a combination of Shining Sands, Abbott Mines, and maybe even a little bit of uh, Ice Cannon because it's kind of got I don't know, the sand is like white and it's got the same type of hills and it's really cool but we'll get into all of that today and it's going to be an awesome episode. So what is Mystic Ruins? Mystic Ruins is actually the first course ever developed exclusively by Panga Japan's team, GMO. Um, and that's really interesting to me because um, I'm not sure if you guys know, but about maybe over eight months ago, Panga Korea, uh, they did something, there was some sort of legal contract happening where they had to transfer it to another server for whatever reason. Um, so Panga Korea has actually got, gave all the creative licenses to Panga Japan. And the main thing I want to iterate too is that this is an a brand new course. This isn't like an Ice Inferno where it's the same layout but like different textures and different models and like different, you know, NPCs. No, this is a brand new layout, brand new everything. Everything's built from the ground up, brand new, and it's really cool. I really wasn't expecting that because last year when we got, we got like a teaser with two concept art images and we got a texture test. At the time, I thought that texture test was actually the course, like that's what it looked like at the moment. And so did a lot of other people on the forums and were actually quite disappointed. They were like, oh, this is just a reskin of Shining Sands. But this is actually a new course and it has a new layout and I'm sure if you watch the reaction video that I posted up earlier today, you can tell <laughs> most of most of the thing I was saying is like, oh my god, it's actually a new course and it's so cool. Because, like, it's been three years since we got our last course, which was Abbott Mines. And before that, it was, I think it was two years before that, we got Ice Inferno, which was just a reskin. And we have been having a lot of reskins of not just courses, but items a lot recently. So I'm glad we're getting something completely new. Oh, and something I'm very excited about is the new music. Getting new music for the course. I was very scared that we weren't getting new music because. While the creative license had gone to Japan, I wasn't sure if Japan could make music or if they would have to license it out to another company or another person or how that would work, but they have new music, it's in the trailer, the first track, and it's not even the full thing, it's like a minute of it and usually tracks are like two to three or maybe even four minutes long, so I'm very excited to hear the full versions next week and I'll definitely be posting them on this channel and it'll be amazing, so... Ugh, very cool. Uh, so, this is the first course ever made outside of Korea. It was made by Japan and it's really cool. And, um... I love the look of it, I love the theme and... it It's really cool. It borrows so many elements from different courses. As I said, you know, it always it has the pyramids and the booster pads and all that from Shining Sands. It has the type of skybox and type of feel and look of Abbott Mines, especially that you can actually see crystals and Abbots throughout the course. Um, and it even has the slide that was in Abbott Mines, where you can like shoot your ball onto it and it'll go all the way down. That's really cool. Um, as well as it has a few new features that I think, you know, they're brand new to the game and they're, they're very exciting and me and Hachi were talking about this uh, the other week when we were thinking like what new elements could they add to the course, especially with, like, with this whole space UFO theme and stuff. Um, and if you watch the trailer you will notice at one point there's two UFOs and they have beams under them that will be kind of like 
abducting the ball in a way, you know, they'll be sucking up the ball. And these will actually pull your ball up, so if you shoot into them or just below them, your ball will rise, kind of like those fans from, uh, what was it, those fans from a Sylvia Cannon and whatnot. So that adds a really dynamic and interesting theme to the course, and I think that could add a lot of challenge. And something else that's new as well with this course is you might have noticed they had this in the teaser trailer. There's a gigantic purple, like it, I thought it was an orb first, but it's actually a gigantic purple type of uh, OB area. It's like this giant chasm, and it's got this like dome around it that it's like a force field so if your ball goes into that if your ball goes above this chasm it will actually suck your ball down to the ob and it's really like that's going to be quite a hazard and quite challenging so i'm really interested how to see you know how they're going to make that work and how they're going to balance that but it does look really really fun and I do like all these new elements that they put into this course. There's actually a screenshot on the teaser website of the new course. <laughs> There's this crazy screenshot which has, I think it has like 16 booster gates in one area and I don't know how the heck that's going to work. It wasn't shown in the trailer. Um, but that looks insane and some, <laughs> I love Hannah on the forums they actually posted them they're like this is an insane amount of booster gates and it's true like i don't know how that's going to work i'm so glad there's so many booster gates because they're always so fun to hit so that could be a really fun element um and ju i'm just like reading you know all these comments from the forums and people were saying like yeah i am kind of sad that they changed the space background from the <laughs> because I had a space background, a space skybox and the original one from the concept arts and from the early texture tests that they did, they showed last year. Um, but now they've changed it to like a happy blue sky or whatever, but I'm kind of sad that they changed it too. I thought the skybox before was fine. I like space, but apparently not. Um, but I thought, it, I think it w works perfectly fine as is and I'm just happy that you know overall it looks really good and uh, you know it feels more panga if that makes any sense. So today the full teaser site came out. We already had the teaser site before but it only had this kind of I don't know it, was, it wasn't like a full trailer it was just kind of like teasing a trailer was coming soon and that a new course was coming out soon but today we got all the info we got the first trailer coming out and everything and um, you can see footage of the the website here it's really cool um, and basically on this website it has you know screenshots and it even shows where the new course is placed and Mystic Ruins interestingly enough is placed directly under Shining Sands um, and I found that interesting because originally this course was supposed to be set in space. As you can tell, this obviously has a very space type of themed look to the course um, and a very futuristic theme with UFOs and these kind of crazy pyramids and all that. It's really cool. Um, but it was originally supposed to be set in space if you based it off the concept art and the early texture test. Um, and I'm wondering if perhaps they changed the space look to it that it had earlier because they couldn't figure out where they would place it on the map. If it's set in space then it can't be on Panga Island obviously so they would have to set it somewhere outside of the map and you can't do that. Um, so maybe that's why they changed the skybox to the kind of cloudy thing that it is now but I'm not sure. Either way it's really cool and Mystic Ruins is only three stars. I heard a rumor before we actually got the teaser site today that it was four stars, but it's three stars isn't bad, and you know, we still get a decently challenging course. Um, and because of all these new elements that they've added to it, I think it's going to be a lot more trickier than just 
your average three or two or four star course. It's it it's definitely going to be more fun to play. It's definitely going to be you're gonna to have to think more about where you place your phoenix ball and where you hit and stuff. So I think that'll be really cool. So right now Japan's actually also having an event for the new course. Even though the new course isn't out till next week, uh, we actually get a really cool event based off Mystic Ruins. Um, the event consists of, like, basically, there's you play through any holes you want, any course you want, um, 18 holes, 3 holes, whatever it is, it doesn't matter because your goal is to get these kind of similar to Abbott Crystals, but they're the ones from the new course, so they look a bit different and a bit newer, a bit better, honestly. Um, and they pop out of the hole randomly, and obviously, you know, every rule applies if you have your motion item set on, you'll get times two instead of just one, which, you know, I don't have points or cookies or whatever you want to call it in Japan, so I can't get a motion item, at least not yet, so that kind of sucks, but anyway, I digress. The new uh, event is really fun because you can collect these things, and depending on how much you get, I think if you get two, or it might be even three, you can uh, trade them in the event page for a Mystic Ruins Phoenix Ball. And I'll show footage of that, because it's a really cool Phoenix Ball. It has the new pyramids, and um, it doesn't have a particle effect, but it does look like the same type of ball you would get from playing a Grand Prix, like, you know, if you play a Grand Prix through any of the courses, you get a, you know, a Grand Prix ball based off of that course, so that's pretty cool. But the main item that I really want to get from this event is you can actually win Cartier's hat, so, uh, or Brie, or whatever you want to call her, and I thought this was really interesting because they, in the teaser trailer, they really want to tie Cartier to this new course, and I'm not sure how the backstory kind of connects, but I'm sure we'll find out if this comes to our server or if I get this translated better or whatever. But yeah, so it's a new hat and it's based on Cartier's hat, which is really cool. Available for all characters, but I'm not quite sure how you get it. If you have to play as the character and then trade it, or if you get to choose, I don't know how that works, but. It's really cool, and it is a new model, new textures, it's a new hat, so Japan's made it themselves, and you can see how much time and care they've actually put into it, which is really cool. And of course on this teaser website, something that people have been playing for over a week now, because this release, the, the teaser website released a week ago, and this feature is still there, it's this flash mini game that you can play where you abduct, like, caddies, you can adopt Papal and Dolphini, and um, on rare occasions there will be like really big Papals and really big Dolphinis, they'll be worth more points. You have to adopt them with, you have the spaceship from Mystic Ruins. Um, and it's really fun, I've seen so many people on Twitter and Panga Japan, and you know, even people outside of Panga Japan just post their scores, and it's surprisingly addictive. Like, I, I post the Hatchies posted. I think he got like 30,000 points, so he kept it on and kept playing for like days and days. Um, and I've only gotten like so far like 2,000 points or something, I'm terrible at it, but it's it's really cool. And if we do get this course and we do get a teaser site in global, I really hope we get the mini game, and I hope we can tweet our scores because it's very fun. And for you viewers who are actually watching this before the course comes out, um, I actually have some exciting news that you might want to be interested in. Not only will we, you know, I obviously have access to Penguin Japan, so I'll be recording and covering, like uploading a full playthrough of this new course as soon as it comes out, like the hour it comes out, for sure. Um, but not only that, the whole day, as just before the update and after the update and everything, me and Hachi are going to go live on, I think, Twitch.tv. I think that's what he uses. is. Could be another streaming service, I'm not sure, but we're going to go live, um, it could even be on YouTube, and we're going to be streaming Panga Japan, us two playing the new course, pretty much the whole day. It's going to be, like, at least, you know, quite a lot of hours. It's going to be really fun, you guys should join us, um, I'll post 
more details in the description below. I'm not sure. I think, yeah, we do know a specific starting time and stuff, so you should definitely join us. You should definitely follow everything, and it'll be a really good day. <laughs> Come check out the new course, discover it with us, be amazed and in awe with us, and then, like, have a drink and watch Penya and it will come play with us if you have access to Japan as well because that could be really fun um, but yeah and that will be next week so that is the 7th of the 21st 2016 definitely join us so that's about all we have today um, it was a bit of a shorter show but thank you so much for watching if you got up to this point um, I'm glad the podcasts are back um, I'm not sure how regular they're going to be you know I'm going to try to make more podcasts more often, especially recently, because we have a new course just around the corner. We have Panga Mobile confirmed coming out at the end of 2016, so I'll definitely be covering that whenever that comes. Hopefully get a new trailer very soon, or at least new information or anything. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to try to make more regular podcasts when I can, because I have been missing podcasting um, and just creating new content in general anyway. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode and I will definitely see you guys next week when Mystic Ruins opens up to the public. So I hope you join us with the live stream and I'll see you guys then. Thank you so much.